Hey y'all, let me show you how to use this um, charm font file. This is a SVG. So you're going to open it and then you're going to hit save. Click it, insert it. When you bring it into Cricut to the design space, it'll, it'll be a lock layer and everything will be one layer. So you just want to go up to the top to ungroup and hit ungroup. Now, I'll say this. Once it ungroups, you'll have the black layer or the name layer and the red layer or the shadow layer or base. Um, the only thing, only letter in the, in the whole bunch, I think, is that will be in two pieces is the letter B and that's because it's a complete it's a loop two loops so the only letter there will be that letter so I'll show you how to use that as well so let's say you you want to make the letter G you want to do a G charm you'll just you don't have to ungroup again even though all this is grouped you do not have to ungroup. You just come into, you pull the file down and click on the G and hit duplicate. Once you get that piece, you can cut that off, cut the other layers off. Then you'll open the red layers, cut them on, and click on the G as well from the side over here. And duplicate. You know, cut that off. Now you have everything you need. You can cut this out of glitter, gold, whatever you want. You can do the same with this. You can leave leave them the colors they are and just load your mat with whatever you want to use, and that's fine. So if you're gonna do the background gold if if it helps you for for ex, ex, for me explaining it to you if it helps you for that purpose then I'll just make it gold so if you're going to do the back of the charm gold and the shadow part of the charm gold you'll need to make a duplicate of this and you'll need to flip horizontal flip this one so it will be match up to the back and this is your name layer so you can make it silver let's say you're going to do it silver we'll make that silver then you're going to need to duplicate this and let's turn it black and let's duplicate I, for mine I make six layers so you can make four, you can make how many ever you want, but for mine, I make six. So I would duplicate that six times. And for this layer, I, I don't even make a layer because this would glue right to the top of that. This would glue right to the top of this piece here. So you would cut could group these together so you can cut that off and you can cut that off and then you would hit make and cut this out of the gold foil load your mat cut it out of the gold foil once that finished you come back you cut that off and you turn this one on let me turn that group off. So you turn this one on and then hit make and you load your mat with silver and you cut that out. Then you come back, you cut that off. And 
you cut on your black layers. Did I, did I delete them? Oh, no, there they are. So then you cut your black layers on. And you load your mat with black cardstock. Make sure it's 110 pounds. And then you cut those out. And then you start piecing them together. That is all for this, how to work with this file. So let me go back and tell you about the letter B. So if you're going to use the letter B, then you're going to want to make sure that you click this file and you got to go get the other piece to go with it and duplicate. Well, let's group it together while we got it there. So I grouped it together. So when you do that, you'll you want to do your cut the black off, and I think you need you'll need to do the same thing with the red. No, because it's just one piece for the red. So you come down and you find the B. Oh, let's cut it off. It would work if we cut it on, wouldn't it? Come down and you find the B. Click it. Duplicate. Now cut the group off. And then you'll I didn't I didn't even mention you'll still do what what I showed you before with the um, G file, but I didn't mention that if whatever size you're gonna make this, let's bring this to the front. Move to the front. You're gonna do all your sizing before you make your other layers that you need to cut. So you would bring it over and take it to zero. Now, if you want big, big charms, you're going to need to be at least, do at least, I would say about two inches, two inches, not in width, but in height. A two inch charm is pretty big. It's pretty big. It's not super big, but it's in charm lingo is big. So you you make um you size it first and then go in and add your layers and do as I said before. I moved it to the back, I didn't flip it. So you flip it and then you only need this one layer for this, and then you grab one of those, duplicate, and you'll make six of those. And then these would be your black card stock. If you want a black card stock, if you want white, use white. And then these would be gold if you wanted gold. And this would be silver if you wanted silver or whatever color you wanted to use. That is it, guys. I hope this helps you.